when I heard of the theme for today of together, I thought about how the integrity of a system relies on how the different elements come together. Whether it's the parts of a body synergistically making a human being. I mean, you know, you can lay all of the pieces of a body on a table, and it's not the same thing as a living human being. Or the different workers, carpenter, electrician, plumber, needed to build a house. What matters is how the different elements effectively come together. I believe that each individual is unique, is potentially different in the uniqueness of his or her essential being. I also believe that we all have what I will call genius, and that part of what self-actualization involves is finding and nurturing our genius. And it seems to me that our greatest joy comes from expressing our genius and thereby contributing both to ourselves and our communities through that expression. However, there's a built-in dissonance led by the promptings of, of my own inner personal work. What I see is that our most primal fear is the fear of being abandoned by the tribe. Our survival has depended on belonging. And if we are, are seen as different, we are likely to be ostracized. So we tend to strive to belong, to fit in. Wanting to be accepted, we try to be like all the others, often by denying our differences and thereby denying our genius. And in the process, diminishing ourselves, making ourselves less than. Wanting to fit into the elephant herd, the hummingbird made a lousy elephant, you know, but, but would have made a fabulous hummingbird. Could one of the roots of dysfunction lie in the problematic reaction to the fear of being rejected if I'm different? If I have to hide myself out of fear of being different, I am likely to feel that who I really am is wrong, bad, inadequate, insignificant. Much of the work I do in personal development is with at-risk people, inmates, ex-offenders, the homeless, the unemployed. I find that one of the greatest challenges for these people is their fear that they are insignificant, that they don't matter. If I've already been labeled bad or useless and discarded, what hope can I have? And if I'm feeling hopeless, why make an effort to change? What difference does it make? What difference do I make? To help handle this concern, I like to share about the butterfly effect, which is part of contemporary physics, part of the chaos theory. Basically, <clears throat> according to the butterfly effect, the ripple effect of one single butterfly flapping its wings over time can cause or prevent a tornado halfway around the world. Yeah, think of that. One single butterfly. If that's true, the implication is that everything we do, no matter how small, can potentially have a huge impact. The implication is that everything we do matters. That we matter. And when I share about this, quite often people get it. One man in a class of mine wrote to me, please, keep doing what you're doing. You've touched my life, and I am one of your butterflies. I will change my part of the world. So, what did that mean? What kind of change has he helped to create? I don't know. 
we often can't know the outcomes of the ripple effects of our actions. I'm guessing that the famous insect referred to in the butterfly effect never knew about the tornado that it caused or prevented. However, often there are indications. Another person wrote to me, your class really did a lot for my relationship. I've, I've learned how to effectively listen and not read into things that aren't always there just because of the silence. I'm not used to peace or serenity. You probably saved my relationship more than three times these past few months. I hope to use the skills I've learned in my next employment experience, but right now, my love life is reaping the fruit. Buckminster Fuller once wrote, if the success or failure of this planet and of human beings depended on how I am and what I do, how would I be? And what would I do? Notice that he didn't say who. It's not about the who. It's about the how and the what. It could be any who. What if? What if a single butterfly flapping its wings, or maybe two, could change the world? What if, in daring to, in daring, in daring to shed our armor, release our fear, push through our obstacles, daring, daring to feel, daring to express, daring to birth ourselves, daring to fully be. We could reveal not the Oh, ugly, ugly, ugly monster that we fear we are. We could reveal the <gasps> beautiful. <laughs> Reveal the beautiful uniqueness of being that we truly are. What if these beautiful beings, we, breathe deeply to touch source? took a forward step, came together in love, joined hands, dared to live the dream. What miracles could we create together? <laughs>